Authorities at Suffolk County beaches are keeping close watch on the water after more shark sightings this morning. And yesterday, a shark bit a teenage surfer. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is live at Robert Moses State Park with more. Jennifer. Cindy, good afternoon. Happy 4th of July to you and to everyone else out there. We come to you this afternoon live from Robert Moses State Park Field 3. Shark sightings here today. We're not far from Kismet, Fire Island National Seashore. Both these locations, sites of possible shark bites yesterday. Now, what we want to say to you is that the Suffolk County Marine Bureau responded to a 15-year-old male surfer off Fire Island. The teen was bitten in the heel and toes, precautionarily taken to Good Samaritan Hospital in West Islip, treated and released. That happened when lifeguards were off duty yesterday evening. Earlier in the day, a 15-year-old girl felt something puncture her lower left leg. No one saw a shark, but swimmers were ordered out of the water for a time. She was treated for minor wounds at the scene. Today, it began all over again. This morning, prior to lifeguards going on duty and our authorizing swimming, we had a complete drone patrol. And right here in front of Field 3, we saw a school of sharks, and there were approximately 50 sand sharks there. And we reacted to that. We did not authorize swimming. About an hour and a half later, we had not seen the sharks, so therefore we reopened to swimming. But then a few minutes from, or a few minutes ago, just east of us at field number four, so a couple of sharks were spotted. So we again prohibited swimming, got swimming, and got everybody off the beaches. The sharks are following bait and bunker fish into some shallow waters, and experts say their nibbles at humans are accidental, thinking we are fish. Right now, here in pants, drones, wave runners, kayaks, all out surveying. This marks the first shark attacks off Long Island this summer. Last year in 2022, eight people were bitten by sharks. We're reporting live this noon from Robert Moses State Park. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Cindy, back to you. Jennifer, thank you very much and happy 4th to you.